Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. What's on your back? Are you a giraffe? Ew, you're wet. Here you go. Baby Perilla wanted to say good morning. Hello. Everybody say good morning back. Let's be nice. <laughs> How's everyone doing? I am having a wonderful morning. No throwing up. I don't feel so bad. I woke up with a headache this morning, but it went away. And I'm trying to convince Chris to go to this Star Wars shop. Yeah, I even offered to drive. Hoping this will cheer him up a little bit. You wanna say hi? Is that it? Are you aware that you have a lot of people that love you? You just wanna be petted, don't you? Okay, that's enough. Let's do a day in the life of Pixie. She moved. I just don't want to do anything. Nothing. I told them that I even offered, um, sorry, I'm eating a pretzel and it stuck to the roof of my mouth. What was I saying? Oh yeah. I told them that I even offered to drive the three hour drive. And you said no. I just don't feel like it. You can buy like a little Star Wars trinket. I'm not going to drive three hours <laughs> to buy a Star Wars trinket. No, it's just not something that I think would make me happy. No. I don't know what will make me happy. Um, we go to the Lego store? No. Um, do you want to go to the Darth Vader store? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't, I don't feel it. I don't think I'm depressed. You know, I'm not running a fever or anything. <laughs> That's the, you don't, <laughs> that you can't get a fever from being depressed. That was a no. joke, really. Haha, -ha, see my humor's still there, kind of. Well, here in Seattle, you can get like seasonal depression. You know, I wonder if it is sad. <gasps> yeah, because when I first moved here, I felt it like, it just gets so gray and gloomy. For so long. But I like this kind of weather. I don't think it's the weather. Well, your body changes every seven years. So maybe you changed. I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> you know, I do appreciate that you're trying to cheer me up. That means more than being cheered up. No, it doesn't. I'd rather be cheered up. But <laughs> I'm saying that I appreciate you trying to cheer me up. I think all I want to do is just Lay in bed, no. watch movies, and talk about it. I want to talk about it. I'm a guy and I want to talk about it. Well, this is good. You get it out. It helps. I'm pretty sure part of it is that I can't escape the thing that people think I can escape just by ignoring it. You know, when I ignore things, they go away. Well, wouldn't it be nice to be you? <laughs> This reminds me of the part where I said, oh, I had a great childhood. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. We all have bad days. I don't think I'm talking about just having a bad day. I used to not really believe in it, but it really does help. And you can trust them. Trust who? Them. It would be a long vlog. That's okay. I don't know. And then you can go back and look at it. I don't know. Baby Perillo can go back and look at it. I'd just be exposing too much. Yeah. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. I just said something that cheered Chris up. 
and we're on our way. Yay! Ow. I was like, I hear whistling. Yeah, it wasn't me. <laughs> well, that hit the spot. Good idea, hon. Now I don't have any more sandwich. It's okay, we got a bread. Oh. Yeah. You know what really grinds my gears? What? <laughs> it really irks me when someone tells me that I need to quote unquote get a job. I have a job, thank you very much. I'm just trying to do it better. And I didn't realize it until I did the calculation on a calculator, because I'm not really great with numbers. I've been doing this for 18 years, whatever the hell this is. And I don't know if we need a traditional definition to make it real, because it's very real. But there are just certain market realities that I'm struggling to get past. Or I may just have to work around them, because I can't work past them. I can't just quote unquote get a job. Why do people say that? Why do people speak past me? <laughs> My name is Max Van De Wiel. I'm a longtime subscriber to both channels since 2009. I wish to express my appreciation for everything you do. There's no better way to start a day with a new vlog from you guys. You make me laugh and feel connected to you through your videos. He appreciates that we share our life with him. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, he also sent this wonderful set from the Lego movie uh, and wishes us the best of luck and happiness. Thank you, Max, from Belgium. This really means a lot to me. This, the letter you wrote, means more to me than the box of Lego bricks, believe it or not. Uh, I've been going through a rather rough period, if only in my head, and I'm trying to work past it. And knowing that people like you are out there supporting the things that I do or that I want to do, it means everything to me. It really does. Mm. Oh. I'm thinking about doing an impromptu live stream. But I don't know who's going to watch. I don't know if I'm going to save the video so that people could watch it after it's live. I just need to talk. Blah 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 blah. I want to tell people what I'm going through, but I don't want to make it sound like all I'm doing is expressing my frustration. People take your expressing frustration that you're doing nothing but vetching, and I'm. Not, I'm processing, I'm trying to figure it out. And I don't have the answers! And the ability to do it! Yeah, he's a huge Minecrafter. Maybe I should just make the ask. If anybody out there has ever built a production team, video production, audio production, <clears throat> doing work within the team, uh, you know, for your own projects, as well as being hired out by other entities. Draw me a line. I, 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 uh, I want to create a production team around me. Because I have some ideas. I mean, not just for the video projects I want to do, like working on geeky things. Stuff that I've been doing, but, you know, kind of kicking it up a notch. But also being a production company that is able to help get other YouTubers hired for gigs. If you've had experience building teams, period. Oh, yeah, and you live in Seattle. If it's not one thing, it's another.
Diana went out to get tamales. And when I went to let Pixie out, I noticed that the plant was disturbed. Seems as though one of the dogs has gotten into the pot and potentially eaten a few of the stones. I'm guessing one and or both of them were looking for food. You probably wrap your lips around a stone and then spit it out after you realized it had no flavor. Because it's a stone. I think I get it. You're preparing me for kids. Good job. I'm glad the dogs aren't going to be passing a stone <laughs> or two. I think it's when they jetted outside, they like ran into it. They're like little presents wrapped. This is the unboxing. <laughs> no box part. <laughs> You've watched too many of my videos. <laughs> now we gotta see the inside. People like details. This is what it looks like. <gasps> Yummers! Those specks are amazing. <laughs> Get it away from my mouth. <laughs> like the doggies like it. Doggies like anything. It's food. Okay, here we go. <gasps> no. Okay. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Why? What are you doing? Well, you tell me I can't play with my food, so I'm playing with yours. <clears throat> Are you done? <laughs> You're just gonna grab it. I think I had a better day today. Thank you, everybody, for your support. It means a lot. You know what else means a lot? Pickles. You were talking about going to get pickles downstairs. Yeah. Thanks again for liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and watching even more of our videos right now.